So hi everyone, my name is Tani Roberts and I'm a comic book artist. I did uh, comics for Star Wars Clone Wars and uh, Troll Hunters and Toy Story and How to Train Your Dragon and stuff like that. And I'm really excited to be part of um, uh, Little Lycaf and uh, the Lakes uh, Festival. And what we're going to do today is we're going to do some, uh, we're going to do a tutorial on um, good guys and bad guys. So I asked the lovely people of Instagram uh, who my good guys and bad guys would be, and I got lots of really great uh, suggestions. These are my bad guys in my evil Starbucks mo uh, cup, and these are my good guys in my relatively happy-looking Starbucks cup. So we're going to do five good guys and five bad guys. So it's good these ones because you can shake it around. It'll be good. So we're going to start with some good, good, I'm good guy. So come on, good guy. Right. Who's this one? I'm going to throw this away afterwards. It is He-Man. He can't read my writing. It's fine. So He-Man. I'm going to need some reference for him. I'm not going to go with the um, new He-Man. I knew that, no, there's a new He-Man cartoon, cartoon out. I have no memory. That. I'm old enough to remember the old He-Man. So uh, I'm going to just use him and we'll uh, look at that. He-Man. <laughs> He-Man, yeah, straight away. Cool, so what color should He-Man be? He's kind of, I've got lots. So hi everyone, my name is Tanya Roberts and I'm a comic book artist. I did uh, comics for Star Wars Clone Wars and uh, Troll Hunters and Toy Story and How to Train Your Dragon and stuff like that. And I'm really excited to be part of them um, uh, Little Lycaf and uh, the Lakes uh, Festival. And what we're going to do today is we're going to do some, uh, we're going to do a tutorial on um, good guys and bad guys. So I asked the lovely people of Instagram uh, who my good guys and bad guys would be, and I got lots of really great uh, suggestions. These are my bad guys in my evil Starbucks mo uh, cup, and these are my good guys my relatively happy looking Starbucks cup. So we're gonna do five good guys and five bad guys. So it's good these ones because you can shake it around, It'll be good. So we're gonna start with some good, good, I'm good guy. So come on, good guy. Right, who's this one? I'm gonna throw this away afterwards. It is He-Man. He can't read my writing, it's fine. So He-Man, I'm gonna need some, <laughs> I know he's not blue at all, but so. He-Man. So we're going to talk about in the design of uh, He-Man what uh, what makes his design good as opposed to um, the antagonist. He's a protagonist. He's a good guy and he has got a... It's. I mean, the design is it's quite old but so old. We're so old. So it's kind of this nice rounded face, muscular face. And yeah, <laughs> he's so He-Man's uh, eyes are quite, uh, his uh, features are quite realistic in that they're not very cartoony. So I'll just go off the, the 80s design um, and uh, just have that. Well, some, of, some of these I might not actually line, some of these I might just leave as... Uh, color drawing. So we've got He-Man, we've got his nice lips here. It's kind of the only cartoon that has actual lips. <laughs> so he, he, even though he has quite sharp eyebrows, it's more, they're more there because just to give him a good, hard, serious expression rather than look quite evil. and have some sass and look good, obviously. Here's my He-Man. I know this might come as a shock to you. I have never actually drawn a He-Man before. Nope, never. So notes to self, this pen is running out. So we'll not use this one again. It's got like loads. Right, so he's got this great hairstyle fantastic sort of the hairstyle that I was forced to have as a child this kind of bowl cut it's great 
also does not exude evil. No one who's evil is going to have this hair, hair, haircut, guys, okay? But he wears it well. Right, because I'm doing quite a lot of characters, we'll not do any more on He-Man just now. So I'm just doing his face and show, showing you just how nice and round his features are and how nice. He, he can have friendly eyes. We just kind of put that up slightly there. So He-Man, there you go. <laughs> so I'll just put that behind there. And we'll, we'll move on to a bad guy. And I'll probably just change color as well, which is our bad guys. That's our good guys. This is our bad guys. So I'll give it a good shake. Shake, 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 shake. And our bad guy is, ah, so this is, this is a weird one. So this is um, Jake from uh, um, Rango. It's one of my suggestions from one of my uh, Instagram people. So he's kind of just a normal looking snake. So we'll just um, do a little, sometimes I might do some poses uh, from this one, but I think this is just kind of straight up snake pose. So we'll just do it in green. And straight away, you can notice that he has really narrow, far apart eyes, which is quite, it's quite alien. Anything that takes you away from the design that we're used to um, as humans. So we, when you say, ah, oh, the baby, and it's something with big, big eyes, um, that snakes are quite far away from that because they have far, far away eyes. Their eyes are slits. And... Um, not many people would think the snakes are cute. Really, I think they're nice. I like them. I wouldn't know. I don't know if you'd say cute though, but they are usually depicted in movies as evil. So I don't actually know if he has any fangs. I haven't seen this movie in a while. It's a good movie though. So he is pretty evil. And to, e to solidify the fact that he's evil, he's even got a cowboy hat. A really evil cowboy hat. What's it got on it? I don't know what's going on. It might have a chain around it or something. Let's put a chain around it. So design-wise, it's not that far removed from just a normal snake. So we'll just put, we'll put his rattle up here, actually, because the, the snake body goes down there, and then his rattle comes up here. There we go. I won't do that in uh, line, because it's actually quite obvious what I'm drawing. These first two have been really obvious, actually. Anyway, so... If you want, to, if you want to have an evil character or a bad character, try and take it away from the aspects that we used to, as I was talking about. Okay, we'll move on with another good guy. We'll change color. I've got so many colors down here. Oh my goodness! So bad guys, wait, good guys. I hope I've been putting these away. Oh no, I have him. He ran out. So, brag. <laughs> So we've got Rango from the same movie. So it's quite lopsided. Very odd character design. I think that's why it's one of those movies that people do really like. I like it. Awesome movie. But it has the aspects there of the good of the good guy code, which is he has big eyes. I might go in with my line my lines for this because I'm making quite a few lines and you guys don't know where they're going. So yeah, even though he's the same, he's a lizard and a reptile, the same as uh, um, Jake, the rattlesnake, um, you can tell in his design that they've made him more appealing. The fact that he's a bit wonky makes you feel sorry for him. He's got this big head gangly limbs. It's 
he have a nose? I don't know what. Chameleons are fantastic animals. So he, I think he wears a hat at some point as well, but I'm not gonna put his hat on him. So I'll just go in there with the crazy purple to line that, because why not? Let's do it. Let's go with it. Whoa, heavy bleed, heavy bleed on this purple. Ah! So as I said, big eyes, booster appeal. Looks like I've given him eyelashes. I have not. So, here's Rango. He's wearing his um, Hawaiian shirt. There, see? It's got his Hawaiian shirt on. There we go, so Rango. Cool, so we move on to another bad guy. I should be counting these. I've gotten two, two good guys and two bad guys. Okay, cool. So, Kingpin. This is my bubble. I'm just gonna try and go for all those here. This is my bubble where I put my uh, characters when I'm drawing them. I'm just gonna just line this first. In my construction lines and then I will go in uh, with a different color or another brighter color. To make it make a lot more sense. So he's very formidable. <clears throat> he's very formidable in his size. But even though he is quite round, he has some quite sharp shapes in him. Um, his eyebrows, very sharp. It depends, a lot of these, um, a lot of these Marvel characters have been around for so long, you can just sort of do your own design based off them and they'll still look like the character, which is what's so nice because there's so, there's so many character traits about them that they're instantly recognizable if you draw if you draw them just based off your own kind of design. So you by the way, you could follow along if you guys want. I am a bit fast, but I'm slowing down for this one. So it's always formal, always wearing a suit. always angry. Right, I'll go in with another pen actually because this is wasting out a little bit. This one's very dark so you'll see. Just gonna go in so really sharp eye eyebrows which is kind of at odds with them um, his design being all round and friendly, but we're just gonna narrow his eyes. And he has crazy cheekbones, even though she's really round, which just gives him another layer. character. Sharp dome. See, even though he's round, do you just add these little 
design things which make him quite spiky. If he was a good fat guy, he'd have more rounded shapes. Is there anything that you can do to make it sharper and spikier that will help with the overall character design? You guys have the benefit of actually pausing this in case I'm going too fast. If you really do, if you come across a character that you sort of want to draw, that I'm drawing, you can pause it. I probably spent too long on this guy anyway. Well, so that is Kingpin. Okay. Uh, right, so we're going to go on to another good guy. Okay, so our third one, that's my thing. third good guy. It's gonna be, is it? It is uh, Goliath from the Gargoyles. This is gonna be, do the bubble. That's when, that, it's because, especially when you're doing a character like him, because he's so big and he has so many um, extremities coming off of him, like his wings and his tail and everything, that if you don't do a bubble, you might have those come off the page. So I'm going to do quick, a quick uh, pose. Huge. Huge guy. Very spiky, very, you could easily be doing this for a bad guy. You could easily be a bad guy. But we'll go, we'll get into that when. So this is my pose. I'm kind of, I'm not, I'm only following the uh, character design briefly because I have to look at it very briefly. So I'm just looking at it and uh, drawing what I'm seeing. So I'm not following the character design so much. Again, like we, I watched this as a kid, so um, I'm familiar with this guy. I think it's been rebooted. Most things that I was that I used to watch has been rebooted, so I'm not sure about that. But anyway, it, even though he is very, uh, he looks like he could be evil. He has some cute aspects to his face. He has small nose, and well, I'm not showing this right now. He probably has friendly eyes on a good day, you know. His spiky forehead. His hair is awesome. Let me just say, it is pretty cool. His big chin. Okay. His hair is so eighties. Yes. If they did, if they did reboot it, I hope that they had they kept the hair because it's so cool. <laughs> he has a mullet. For goodness' sake, goodness' sake. All this stuff. So I'm not going to go into this with uh, um, the darker pen because I do not have time if we're gonna do loads of these characters. Loincloth. So yeah, as I said, it is difficult um, to, to show that he's a good guy. I think you just have to watch the content of the, uh, of the show because sometimes it is a bit ambiguous whether or not a character is good or bad. And they just have to be shown 
what they're going to do in certain situations with a TV show. What a design. I mean, it's so complicated. And this was all traditionally animated as well. Yikes. It's very beautiful. Very, very beautiful show. So yeah, so because I did my um because I did my bubble, I was able to fit his wings in. If I needed to have his wings out and still fit him in, I would have had to make a bigger bubble 